The bank robbery that shook Iseluku community in Delta State, South South Nigeria. Calm returns, albeit slowly, the mayhem unleashed by robbers still fresh in the minds and conversations. Three people were killed in the operation, which eyewitnesses say lasted for almost one hour. I see some boys, you know. I thought it's a crazy, but they wear nose marks with a cap, putting on black with jean, you know, with canvas. After some like about two hours, they came out with their Sienna again. But after that, they have already blocked the the police station already. Uh, all of a sudden, all of us just they here will have the gunshots. So I was unable to lock my shop because the gun was just approaching very fast. Then we ran under my table with my granddaughter and one woman that is selling Indomie opposite me. All of us run under the, the table. Then the gun was too much. They were shooting. And most of those robbers, uh, one of them was standing here. We had him running up, up and down. We run this side and run come back. I only heard his voice. I did not raise up my head. You can hear him saying, raise your face and die. The Delta State Commissioner of Police is here to assess the level of destruction at the bank. The inspection reveals the level of determination exhibited by the robbers to achieve their objective. Automated teller machines and vaults are emptied. Also hit during the raid is a community police station. The police commissioner says investigations have begun to unravel the perpetrators. We can always be seen proactively partnering together to frustrate the intentions of some of these uh, sinister groups. They couldn't have come and then just go there straight to the bank. They must have hibernated somewhere before carrying out this act. And I'm sure some people saw them and never reported until this incident took place which is not good enough. It's a mournful scene at the residence of the slain police inspector. His daughter tries to muster words. It is too painful. Hello? The last time I spoke with my dad was yesterday. So we waited for him to come back, but we didn't see him. So yesterday night we went to the station, but it was this morning that we got the news. As police investigation continues, the community must move on from the incident. For those who lost loved ones, however, picking up the pieces will be easier said than done.